When we talk about underground artists, there are quite a few who are prolific, uh, quite a few who have sharp pen games. Uh, but this New Jersey MC of Colombian descent uh, easily comes to mind. What is good, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Say Ma. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Is all of that is greatly appreciated. But today. I'm going to hit y'all with my thoughts on this project from Crime Apple and DJ Preservation entitled El Leon. Crime Apple is known for his impressive wordplay, his slick talk, his humor, and just having a great flow all around. To keep it a buck, I haven't always caught every Crime Apple project. In 2023, he had five albums, uh, but I try to listen to his releases when I can. But this time around, he has joined forces with... Uh, the underrated New York producer, Preservation, uh, who has most notably worked with artists like Most Def, Ka, Billy Woods, uh, Wu-Tang, KRS, Rock Marcy, and uh, MF Doom. So in this review, it's very possible that I will mispronounce some of the Spanish names, so please forgive me in advance. But this project contains 11 songs lasting approximately 26 minutes. With that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with that check by check breakdown. The opener, El Leon, uh, has blaring horns to set it off, uh, but the bulk of the beat is a playful piano riff, which is a solid backdrop for Crime's cool and clever braggadocia, like when he says, Analyze the stats and discographies. Y'all would probably have to rethink your top five. That's if I gotta put it modestly. None of y'all fucking with me. No, we exist platonically. There were other witty quotables on here as well, uh, but this was a strong way to kick off this project. Check two, don't mention it, also has a heavy brass presence, uh, this time with muted drums and a celebratory horn loop. It also features a brief but animated verse from the great Sadat X uh, on the back end, and any feature from Sadat X usually has my attention. I just wish it was a bit longer, but yeah, Crime Apple killed it uh, with the particular cadence he was using, and I think this might have been the second or third time that the two have linked on a record. Track three, Lion vs. Panther has a rich an attractive Spanish sample and, and these enticing horns, like the horns go super hard on this track. Overall, it was a solid verse from Crime Apple. Uh, the We Clutching New Bucks without Timberland's line stood out immediately. Next is Hunting Methods, which has some rhythmic drums and an off kilter piano rip. Uh, and Crime Apple just glides effortlessly over this head nod in production. Following this is Milena Dorado featuring. RLX, uh, and it has a haunting vocal flip, some strings, and an overall just slight Wu-Tang feel. RLX had a solid verse, but his following lines gave an instant visual. Trying to weigh it in the car? What you on? And Crime Apple attacks this beat with that precise flow. Uh, all in all, it is one of the standouts. After this is the creative song, Fumemos. Uh, and this is where Crime Apple does some storytelling, uh, telling a tale while referencing all the name brands of cigarettes. This just shows uh, some of his versatility as an MC, and I like that Spanish sample once more. Immediately after is Camino Solitario, and it's set to the punchiest beat uh, as far as having that drum presence, uh, but there is still a dreary quality to it. On this record, He's reminiscent on coming up in a household where everyone was strung out and despondent. He raps, I still recall the horrors from the corridor, scars I can't remedy, trauma to evaluate, papa coming, copping crack for me, mama trying to calibrate. And I know he has talked about his parents' battle with addiction on prior release, but I really did enjoy the Coke bar. I think of a gram, it ain't where you can leave a comment. <laughs> Track eight, Vida Montaquilla, uh, contains more uh, Spanish vocal samples, blunted horns, and just minimal drums. Uh, and he's doing more boasting, talking about how his penmanship is a body bag club. Track nine, uh, Pop Prince in the Sand, uh, has this stripped back funky loop uh, that has that ciphering in the basement type feel. Prime Apple is going in. Uh, barring us to death, 
Tell me how you qualified to go against us when that one rapper you idolize want a picture. Slide without a sprinter. Your rhyme's just a hiccup. Need a new pen, bitch. Shit, mine's like a printer. The second and last song is Quanto Te Quiero, and it's a heartfelt dedication to his mom uh, over a somber, beautiful instrumental. Uh, and you know, even though Crime Apple brags a lot on his songs in general, it's always good to get these conceptual moments from him. Then this project closes out with Boulevard and it has a desolate strumming beat. And Crime Apple is giving us some more introspection uh, about his come up, but now he's leveled up to the point where, you know, he can fly to Peru for the weekend and pack light. So overall, I'm gonna give this project a rating of four mics. But let me know in the comment section if you feel this is one of Crime Apple's best releases. Like I said earlier, I, I missed out on some of his projects, uh, but this one feels, it feels well put together. Obviously, he was killing it with the quotables as usual. There were those straight up spitting moments on a lot of tracks, but he did thankfully throw in some reflective ones too, uh, to give him somewhat of a balance. Now, as far as Preservation's production was concerned, uh, I did enjoy the unique crate digging soundscapes that he cooked up. It was a quick, brisk listen uh, with some sonic twists and turns that kept things interesting, but I still feel I could have used a, a bit more uh, of a drum presence overall. My favorite tracks include El Leon, Leon vs. Panther, Hunting Methods, Milena Dorado, Fumemos, Paw Prince in the Sand, and Quanto Tiquero. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out, uh, but as always, is peace and blessings. Crime Apple Preservation, Al Leon, one.